I've got to say, I don't think this list of things that people want included on a cruise is unreasonable. Do cruisers have a point? And will cruise lines give them what they want? One cruise line responded. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I am not in my usual location. I'm at a hotel now, pretty close to home actually, because we are having some home renovations done and I can't stay in my house for a few days. But not to worry, I am still coming to you with a video that I thought was pretty important because I asked cruisers, what are the things that you wish were included in the price of a cruise? The responses that I got were actually not unreasonable at all. A lot of them really made sense, especially given the fact that times have changed. Interestingly enough, we don't usually hear from cruise lines about these things, but we did hear from one. I am going to share that with you, but I did also want to share a little bit of a counter argument to some of these things and my thoughts as well, because I would like to hear what you think. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Okay, so what are the things that people would like to see included in the price of a cruise? Well, number one, and this was by far the most common answer, it was Wi-Fi, basic Wi-Fi at least, and people had different reasons. But the biggest reason was that times have changed and we now really do think it's important to keep in touch with people back home. In some cases, people had children that are back home, parents that are back home that they need to keep in touch with, businesses or work that they may need to at least keep in touch with a little bit. And the second reason was it is like free promotion for the cruise lines. Let's face it, people like to go on social media and post their cruise vacation photos as well. Now I know not everybody agrees with this one and not everybody likes or wants Wi-Fi. We will, I promise you, talk about that later in the video. Number two, gratuities for crew. Now a lot of people are saying as long as the gratuities are actually expected and they are getting to be fairly high between 16 and $20 per person on average, People are saying that this is part of the cruise salary that they are expecting. They would like to see that rolled into the price and this way they can give an additional amount that is actually a tip that is not expected. Now this in itself would probably end some of those big debates about removing crew gratuities. Number three, non-alcoholic drinks. Most people do understand that alcoholic drinks are going to be additional on cruises, but they would like to see fountain soda, water bottles, and even some of that good coffee or brewed coffee included in the price of a cruise. Number four, free room service. Now in fairness, there are some mainstream cruise lines that do still include free or included room service, but other ones that used to have free room service, well, there is now an additional charge. And it seems like a lot of the people who pointed out that they did want to have a bigger menu of free room service, well, they had some specific reasons that I never thought about. So beyond just the convenience, some people said that they used to order the room service at nighttime if they needed to take medication. And now they just don't feel that it's right to have to pay a delivery fee or a large amount for an a la carte or any other cost when they might simply need the food to take with medication. Now, what some people said is instead of doing that, they are now bringing a Tupperware container and they're going to the buffet or somewhere else on the cruise ship and they're picking up food to bring back to their room to eat it at night if they do need to take medication or if they simply want to have a snack. Now, I would like to hear your thoughts on that. Do you do that on a cruise? And in the past, would you have simply ordered room service? Please let me know down in the comments below. Number five, port fees and taxes. Now, to be fair, when you pay for a cruise, port fees and taxes are included. But what is not usually included, depending on the country that you are from, is taxes and port fees included in the price that you see advertised for a cruise. Now, once you pay, you will actually see this amount. And to be fair to cruise lines, I think that this is the case when it comes to airlines, when it comes to other vacation options, that kind of thing. But a lot of people say in terms of price transparency, they would love to see that included right at the very beginning in the advertised price. Number six, I thought this was really interesting. It is transportation or shuttle service to the city center 
when you are in a cruise port of call. Now I have a feeling this really does depend on the itinerary or even the region that you are cruising. But in some cases, when you go to some cruise ports of call, the city center is really quite far away from where the cruise port docks. And that would definitely be a very convenient service for people and one that would save a lot of money. Now I have to say, I have been on some cruises where there has been a shuttle to at least the closest city center. And I have found that convenient. Number seven, now piggybacking on cruise ports of call in the wish upon wishes, a lot of people say, oh gosh, I would love to have just included in the price of a cruise or maybe as a perk even when booking one excursion that I can choose with the price of a cruise. Now that might be wishful thinking, but that could be a great idea for a promotion. Now I have one more, then I'm gonna share the cruise line that did respond and what their response was as well as a counter argument to all of this. Well, number eight, it is the main dining room food. What a lot of people say is they do not want to see any extras on the main dining room menu. They realize that there is specialty dining. They're completely okay with that. But when they go to the main dining room, they do not want to see any extra charges for anything, not even lobster tails, nothing on the main dining room menu. So which cruise line responded? Well, I have got to give it to Virgin Voyages and their social media team, I guess, responded on my Facebook post and they said, do we have to choose just one thing that is included? So as a reminder, Virgin Voyages includes Wi-Fi, includes specialty dining, or basically all of the really good dining and restaurants on their cruise ship. Now they also include crew gratuities, fountain soda, and group fitness classes. Well played, Virgin. I have to say, when we did sail with Virgin, all of those things definitely were a breath of fresh air. Now we'll get back to Virgin in just a minute because I did wanna share with you this counter argument that a few people did have. Some people said, you know what? All of those things might sound great, but I don't wanna pay extra for any of them because I don't drink Starbucks coffee. I don't care to drink fountain soda. I'm not using the Wi-Fi and I don't wanna pay for those things that I am not using. And I prefer the way things are right now where everybody pays for the things that they want. As well, some people who were solo cruisers said, if gratuities were included in the price of the cruise, then I might be paying double gratuities for my cabin and I would not like that. Now, those are really good points because if those things were included in the price of a cruise, of course, cruise lines still have to make money and they are going to pass on at least a good part of that cost to us. And that's the question, I guess. Do you mind paying a little bit more for your cruise? Is the value of the things that you're getting, is it worth it? And we can tell with a cruise line like Virgin, the price is more expensive than other similar mainstream cruise lines. And of course, there are luxury lines or deluxe lines that have more inclusions, and those are going to be more expensive than many of the popular lines that people are cruising on. Now, a lot is included. So even with Virgin, I have noticed the price is a little bit higher, but there is a lot included. So I guess it's a matter of choice. So please let me know what you think. Are you willing to pay a little bit more for your cruise to have more included, or do you prefer to keep things as they are? Or is there some sort of happy medium in between. Please let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.